There are a lot of ways to make free splash pages without resorting to subscribing to some service that keeps trying to get you to upgrade and spend money. Uh, I spent $10 one time many, many years ago to buy this older version of Photoshop Elements that, from eBay. I think it cost me $10. Uh, I bought one for a friend here just a, a couple weeks ago, uh, version 5, and it was still $10. So it 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 runs on a, an old Windows XP machine and and uh, gets everything that I need to build things for the web. Um, not only just splash pages, but all kinds of things, banners and, and the headers for pages, uh, j just virtually any kind of graphics that you want to design. And there are tons of tutorials on YouTube to teach you how to do all the little steps to make this work. And believe me, I've been on this stuff for 15 years now, and I know this is the easiest one that's out there by far. So anyway, let's get started. I want to just start off with a small file here, and I'm going to say I want a new file and it's going to be blank. My mouse is running crooked today. Um, anyway, it's going to be blank and I'm going to call it uh, Shock Splash because that's what I want to do here. I, I'm just going to make a big window and make it about 450 pixels and it says pixels there by 450 and leave the 72 because it's for the web and that's all you need and the background is going to be white. Say OK. That's my palette. That's my where I have to work from. Okay. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a panel on there to make it have a drop shadow and look kind of cool. So what I want to do is uh, switch the color. So I just switch this over so all the, a little bit of gray shows on the top. And I'm going to click right here where I can do a rectangular tool and I'm going to use a rounded rectangular tool. And I'm just going to grab a spot right here and just drag a, a panel onto it. Okay. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to Drop Shadows and just double click on this to make a drop shadow. That's all there is to it. It's that simple. Now I'm going to grab my text tool and I want to grab a, a font and again you can search for free fonts online and find all kinds of fonts that you can use for free. I like this one called Clean Vertise, and there's two versions of it, a bold version and a, a not so bold version. But I'm going to use the bold version because I want to grab attention. And I'm just going to type some text in here, but I'll pause the video so you don't have to watch. Okay, so I just typed that in there. Now I'm going to take my text tool again. And I'm going to just click in there someplace and type a control A to select it. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So I just go over here and say I want to make it 36. Uh, that may be a little bit too big. So I don't have to go by, uh, you know, the exact sizes they give me here. I could say make this 34 point. I just change that number to a 4. And that makes it just a tiny bit smaller. Uh, let's go with 33. There we go. That looks good. And then uh, click on the Move tool, and I can position it anywhere I want to on the page. Now I'm going to type another line of text, and again, I'll pause this. One of the things that you do with uh, elements is use layers. If you look over here, there's a little page with a corner torn. I'm going to click that so I get a new layer. So then I can adjust these text boxes independently and make them do anything I want to. Okay, so I put a couple more uh, box, uh, lines of text on there. and I'm going to go over here and take this one. If you click anywhere in the text and then do Control A, it'll select it all. And then I can come up here and click on the underline because a text link usually is, or a, you know, a hyperlink is usually underlined. Uh, same thing with any of these. You can change the fonts, you can change the color, if I went here and did the control A, you can come up to this box and change it to red if you want red. It's that simple, but obviously I want blue because it's a hyperlink, so we're going to make it blue. The whole point of this splash page is it builds curiosity in. You know, the more you can make people think, well, I wonder what he's talking about. I wonder what this is about. 
then they're going to click on this and it's going to take them to a page that gives them a little more detail but it opens it in a new window so you're away from the traffic exchange and they can bookmark it or save it for later and I mean just it really makes it possible to grab their attention very quickly and get them to carry out a one single step for one particular benefit they want to do something better and I'm gonna run this on every traffic exchange except the one that I'm talking about so that's what I'm talking about building a splash page for okay so now I have my splash page ready I just go up here to file and save and that saves my uh, PSD file or the, the, the design part then I'm gonna go file save for web and it brings up a two comparisons to show you how they look and I want to save it as a PNG because it only takes up 7k that way so it's gonna load really really fast so I just say okay so I saved in one called shock splash it's in my splash page directory and I just click save I want to give you one little caution here uh, anytime you save something on the web like that and you want to reference it later on in a page or whatever you're trying to do make sure that you actually bring open your browser and navigate to the image and you can see the link so you know exactly what you're doing with you don't have to guess and you won't make mistakes and end up with page not being found and all that kind of stuff so so I just highlight this whole thing and right click it and say copy and I've got that address saved in my clipboard Now I'm gonna go over to a website that I'll give you a link to uh, for a script generator and I'm going to scroll down here a little bit and say I want to have an image link and the image URL right here I'm going to paste in that link that I just copied so it goes to that image that we just showed and for alternative text I'm just going to type in there you won't believe this but it's true uh, again we're trying to build curiosity we're trying to get a shock value they are gonna want people to go over here and click on this thing so they can go take a look at what I have to offer now I have to tell it where I want them to go so right up here I'm gonna send them to my blog which is uh, which is why and again make sure you have the HTTP colon slash slash in front so it it goes there automatically I want it to open up in a new window because we're on a traffic exchange I want to get them out of the traffic exchange get them to my website so I have a little bit more control over what they're doing now all I do is come down here to the bottom and say generate code right here click on this generate code and there's the web page that I need to put on there to be able to reference that particular uh, image and go to the page that I want them to go to I don't have to know what any of this stuff means all I have to do is do a control A in there and a control C to copy it now I just open up a copy of notepad and put my cursor in there right click and say paste that pastes in that code now I want to save that but I'm gonna click file save as because so, I want to control it and where it says text documents here I want to make sure and change that to all files otherwise it'll save it with a txt extension and you don't want that so now I'm gonna navigate over to the directory that we're using to save all this on so I just click uh, splash pages double click that and then find shock splash double click that and I'm gonna name this and this is critical index dot html that's what it has to be called and save it I go back over to a uh, filezilla which is timed out because it's waited too long go log in again double click my username double click HTML double click shock splash I want to go over here and click view refresh and take this index.html and copy it over here and let it go now if I open my browser again and I go over to the shock splash subdirectory which is where I put this so I'm gonna just take this image URL link out of there just go to shock splash 
and there's my page right there. And if someone clicks on this, it's going to take them right to my blog in a new window. That's how it's supposed to work. I know this is maybe a little overwhelming for someone who's brand new, but I'm available if you just get on Skype and do a search for Old Buddy 70, Old Buddy 70. I will be glad to help, you know, get you through the tough parts of this and so you can make these splash pages for yourself. It's a tool you absolutely need if you're going to continue to try and make money online. I hope you have fun with this and uh, we'll see you online.